What's good everybody, it's D-Bron Shanhan here, back again with some more NBA 2K18 content. And today what I want to talk about is five annoying things about NBA 2K18. I'll do a good, uh, five good things about a video or something like that a little bit down the line. But it's just like, you know, this is the, the five things that stood out to me. And this video is not the gameplay video. This is not five gameplay issues. This is like, this is outside of gameplay. So without any further ado, let's get right into it with number five. Number five is the non-skippable, insanely frequent cutscenes. It feels like every time you you go to an NBA game, there's a cutscene. When you leave an NBA game, there's a cutscene. When you go to your apartment, there's a cutscene with a little Asian girl. And it, bro, it's cutscenes everywhere. You can't do nothing without a cutscene. And you can't skip them. Well, and the cutscene's not even like, it's, it's nothing special, bro. I don't care about Boo Boo, the security man, or the, the dude who mops the floor and he rapping and stuff. I don't care about it. Maybe it's because the demographic for the cutscene is like 12 year olds. I don't I don't know. It's just it does not appeal to me. Like I'm watching it, I'm literally sitting there like ah. just waiting for it to be over. They just need to add an option to skip the cutscenes. That's all I ask. If you're gonna make them so frequent and long, then just let us skip them. And number four, if the, if company's gonna send you free shoes. Shouldn't they give you the shoes to wear, like in general? Like, if, if, if Under Armour send me a bunch of shoes, if Under Armour send me Curry's and all of this, why can I only wear them in the NBA? Why do I gotta, if I'm in the park, I can't wear those shoes? Why can't I use those shoes in the park? It's a cash grab. And, and when they send you the shoes, it's the shittiest shoes. They don't send you the cool shoes. Like, it was one, and one of my, my players, Jordan, sent me some, well, they sent me some 29s. So I was, not 29s, they sent me some 31s. So I, that was cool. They sent me some 31s. It's like, they don't send you, like, they're not going to send you no Jordan 1s for free. Like, you got to go buy those. Why do they send you the shitty shoes? It's it's dumb, bro. And they need to let you play with them in the park for free. And number three, when you tell your agent to donate the money to charity, it literally does nothing. You would think, like, it gives you, like, if you donate money, it increases your followers or something. It does nothing. The money just goes straight back to 2K so they can take that money and then overcharge you for other stuff that costs VC. You don't get anything. There's no reason to do it. 2K literally put it. I don't even know why 2K put it in the game. It's like, I don't know. I, I, I really, I don't know. that. The, it's not, it shouldn't even be an option. It's so dumb. And number two is the crashes. This game crashes so much. At launch when the game, when the game first came out, my shit was crashing more than anybody. I was in the, I was in the chat with some of my homeboys and it was like, I was telling them, I was like, yo, the game keep crashing. It's like, yo, D-Brown, you tripping. The game hasn't crashed for me. Now all of that is happening to them. I see them tweeting about it and stuff. It's like, I told y'all niggas, bro, the game, it keeps crashing for me. Luckily, it hasn't crashed at like a pivotal time. Like it hasn't crashed while I was loading or something. Cause you know what that corrupt file do. Make sure y'all back up y'all files. If you're on Xbox, do it in the cloud. If you're on Sony, save it on PlayStation Network. Like, make sure you don't get your player deleted. Because I know a lot of us out here buying VC, you putting all them hours, then your player get corrupt, bruh. You're going to want to go hit a lick on 2K headquarters, bruh. And I understand. I completely understand. And the last thing, the final thing, number one, the VC. You can't do nothing for free this year, bruh. There is nothing you can do for free. They give you five haircuts to start off. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay for haircuts now. You gotta pay for clothes. You gotta pay for accessories. Y'all remember when accessories was free in 2K? Y'all remember that, like early 2Ks, like 2K12 and all of that stuff, 2K10. Accessories was free. You didn't have to buy them. And tell me, okay, so if if your salary, think about it. You are an NBA player. Granted, you're on a rookie, well, a rookie contract. You you were a free agent. They signed you. Even with that small contract. You get how, how much VC you get a game? Maybe like five, six hundred VC a game. A haircut costs a thousand VC. Now think about this logically. On an NBA player's contract, you telling me an NBA player can't afford a haircut off of one game? Think about that logically. Now I understand it's a business 2K, but in what sense does that make any sense? That don't make no sense at all. You have to save money to get a haircut. That's like in real life. If a haircut costs you like. Of like fit if a haircut costs you like ten thousand dollars, that that's the equivalent to that's the equivalent to an NBA game getting you half the amount of a haircut. Nothing is free, and rumor has it, bro. Y'all better be careful. Rumor has it if you stay in the park too long, if you idle in the park, the two K police will pull up and they'll give you a VC ticket for five thousand VC for idling in the park. So don't don't put your controller down to leave. 
or 2K police gonna be on your ass. They're gonna take all your VC. So that, if you don't got 5,000 VC, when you earn it, it just goes straight to them until you pay off your VC ticket. Is it true? Most likely. It hasn't happened to me yet, but that's that's just that's just what the rumor is. You know, that's what people are saying. That's why I'm here in these 2K streets, you know? So those are my so those are the five issues that's been on my mind since this game launched. There are a ton more, and these are not the gameplay issues, so don't be in the comments talking about, oh, this stuff don't matter. This is the stuff outside of gameplay. I'll do a gameplay video. Gameplay. I will do a gameplay video if y'all want me to do so. If y'all want me to do a gameplay video, top five good things and bad things or whatever, just tell me in the comments, and I'll do one, bro. I will do one. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so now. As always, I am D. Brown Shanghai, and I'm about to hit. <laughs>